Hello, my name is Kimberly Nim, and I'm going to talk about homework number two. Uh, we were asked to object Gary Varner's uh, biocentricism and uh, individual worth, where all individual being or living beings have individual moral worth. And my objection is that um, although um, each living thing does have a moral worth, that it's not individual, and that uh, humans have more individual worth than plants. Humans and animals have more individual worth than plants do. Um, this one was really hard for me to write, uh, but I came down to the conclusion from from my objection. I am, am using the example from class where we talk about an example how plants, it's better for plants to thrive even though there's no benefit uh, to humans. And I really go into defining uh, what a conscious being is, and that conscious beings have higher moral worth and the higher value in the moral community. And um, it's because human and animals can express, uh, in their own ways, can express their needs and desires that they are conscious beings uh, versus plants, which I say are not conscious beings, therefore they have a lower value. And in the end, uh, in the reduction of uh, the pollution in the Puget Sound, we should save humans and animals first and then try to minimize the suffering of uh, plants. And that's because plants, um, again, they hold a lower value, they're not aware of their environment or their resources and can express what their needs and desires are. Alright, thank you.